My greetings and salutations to all. I am Professor Namita Rajput, Professor in Department of Commerce, Sri Aurobindo College, University of Delhi. We are on with the new series of Art of Being Happy, a value addition course of Delhi University. So, in that series, today we will be talking about physiological basis of happiness. So, people from many cultures and the social groups, they can experience happiness which is a very complex and diverse emotion. Although happiness is frequently considered to be ethereal idea connected to one's mental and emotional health, its origins may also be found in the physiological process taking place within our bodies. The delicate relationship between our physical well-being and how we perceive happiness is examined in the physiological basis of happiness. There are numerous studies which have shown the close link between happiness and physical well-being. Our moods and overall levels of pleasure are actually controlled by a very complex network of physiological systems that are built into our bodies. There are numerous body systems such as immunological system, the cardiovascular system and the central nervous system, they are all included in these processes. The function of neurotransmitters is a very crucial part of the physiological basis of pleasure. The chemical messengers called neurotransmitters let the neurons in the brain communicate with one another. Dopamine sometimes known as a feel-good neurotransmitter, is very crucial to the joyful experience. The brain's reward system is activated when dopamine is produced, resulting in emotions of pleasure and happiness. Furthermore, the interactions of the hormones and the emotions is a key component of the physiological basis of happiness. For instance, the endorphins, sometimes referred to as a natural painkillers, they are generated in reaction to a physical activity like exercise, which actually lifts one's spirits and make one feel very happy. The love hormone, oxytocin, is also released during the social bonding and increases the emotions of happiness and the trust. Furthermore, the studies have demonstrated that the physiological elements like sleep, diet and the physical exercise, they have a significant influence on our feelings of happiness. An ideal physiological environment is produced by a body that is well rested, fed by a healthy food and engaged in regular exercise. So, this environment encourages very happy feelings and general well-being. Recognizing the crucial connection between our bodies and our emotional states, it requires an understanding of the physiological underpinnings of happiness. We may improve our physiological well-being and our chances of experiencing happiness by adopting a good lifestyle choices and taking care of our physical health. Now, this talk will explore deeply into the different physiological aspects that affect the happiness, illuminating the interesting relationship between our physical well-being and how happy we feel. Let us now have an overview of the physiological well-being and its various components. A person's total mental and emotional condition, which reflects their subjective perception of the life satisfaction, happy feelings and a sense of fulfillment, is referred to as physiological well-being. Now, it covers a range of factors that affect a person's general well-being and extends beyond the absence of the mental diseases. Now, investigating the physiological basis of pleasure requires an understanding of these elements. 
The first is the positive emotions. A key component of the psychological health is the presence of positive emotions. Happiness as a whole is influenced by the feelings like joy, appreciation, satisfaction and enjoyment. The numerous physiological advantages including enhanced immunolo immunological functions, lowered stress levels and enhanced cardiovascular health have been related to these good feelings. The next is your engagement. Being totally immersed and captivated in the activities that provide one a sense of delight and the purpose is referred to as being engaged. Now people attain a state of flow where time seems to fly by and they feel fulfilled and when they are involved in demanding an important task, increased well-being and enhanced cognitive performance have been linked to this state of involvement. The next important factor is your relationship and sociable societies because the people are naturally social animals. It is important to maintain a healthy social and interpersonal ties for a psychological and physiological well-being. Happiness, emotional relevance and the general life satisfactions are all influenced by strong social support systems and meaningful connection. The oxytocin, a hormone linked to emotions of trust and happiness has been proved to be released after the positive social encounters improving the physiological well-being. The next important factor is your personal growth and achievement. The continual skill and ability development, the goal setting and the personal growth are all very crucial for the psychological well-being. A good self-image, the general happiness are actually influenced by a sense of success and the growth in all facets of life including employment, education, hobbies and the personal development. Next is the meaning and the purpose. Understanding one's value, objectives and overall importance of one's activities is necessary to finding the meaning and the purpose in life. People have a greater feeling of fulfillment and pleasures when they believe that their lives have significance and a purpose. A decreased risk of the mental health issues, a more general well-being have been linked to this aspect of the psychological well-being. Now gaining knowledge of these aspects of the psychological well-being will actually help you in understanding the physiological roots of happiness. Finding a meaning and the purpose in life, seeking some personal progress, encouraging the social relationships and participating in activities that promote the pleasant emotions all have actually helped to maintain a healthy and a balanced the physiological state which improves the general well-being and of course the happiness. People may strengthen their psychological and the physiological basis for pleasure and fulfillment by fostering these elements. Now coming on to a sense of purpose and the meaning in life. A essential component of the physiological well-being, a sense of purpose and meaning in life has actually a substantial impact on our level of overall contentment and happiness. Now it entails gaining a greater comprehension of one's existence and the importance of one's deeds in light of the life overall scheme. People who have a feeling of direction, drive and the meaning in their lives 
are better able to make decisions that are actually consistent with their underlying values and the beliefs. So the first is your personal significance. People might regard their life as significant and valuable when they have a sense of purpose and meaning. It actually entails appreciating the special qualities and the assets people contribute to the world. People have a better sense of purpose when they think that their efforts count and have an influence which has a good impact on their psychological and physiological and the physical health. Now coming on to motivation and goal orientation. A feeling of purpose gives people a very clear sense of direction and serves as the motivation for working towards the worthwhile goals. People are more inclined to establish the difficult objectives and the perseverance on the face of challenges when they have a strong sense of purpose. A higher sense of success, realizance and personal progress, they are all fostered by the intrinsic drive which raises the happiness levels in general. The resilience and coping, having a sense of meaning and the purpose in life might help the people to be more realizant when facing the difficult situations. A strong sense of purpose may actually act as a source of power and drive for people when they faced with the hardships or disappointments. It provides a larger perspective assisting people in navigating challenges, discovering the purpose despite hardships which has a good influence on their psychological and the physical well-being. Next is your aligned decision making. A feeling of purpose acts as a compass when making choices. Individuals may make decisions that are in line with their sense of purpose and when they are very clear about their basic beliefs and of course the broad aims. Now by minimizing the cognitive dissonance and fostering a sense of honesty and integrity, this alignment enhances the emotional health. The next is your connection and contribution. Connecting with something bigger then oneself like a group, a cause, a spiritual conviction. It is actually a very common way to find the meaning and the purpose. A sense of connectivity and fulfillment may be cultivated by taking part in activities that benefit other people or society as a whole. Now this sense of belonging and participation in something bigger then one own self may have a profoundly positive impact on one's physical and the mental health. It takes the self-reflection, evaluating one's values and congruent action with basic convictions to develop a feeling of purpose and the meaning in life. And it is a dynamic process that changes as the people mature through change and acquire the new viewpoints. People may improve their psychological health, find more fulfillment in their daily lives and foster a favorable physiological condition that is conducive to happiness and overall fulfillment by actively pursuing and fostering a sense of purpose. Now coming on to control over one's life and happiness. A very important key element is determining a pleasure and the general well-being is having a sense of control over one's life. It alludes to the conviction and understanding that people can influence and make decisions that have a deep impact on their lives. People with a feeling of control may act 
responsibility for their actions, overcome the obstacles and forge their own routes to pleasure and fulfillment. The first is the autonomy and empowerment. The feelings of autonomy and empowerment are fostered by a sense of control. People feel more personal agency when they think that they have influence over their decisions. They might and the acts they do. The individuals who have a greater autonomy are better able to pursue the interest and make choices that are consistent with their beliefs and the goals, which increases the pleasure and fulfillment. Next is we have relevance and adaptability. Possessing a sense of control over one's life's transits and make it easier to adjust to the changing circumstances. People with a sense of control are more prone to see difficulties as transient and surmountable when they encounter the difficulties or any kind of setbacks. They have all the power to counter it and they are very easily able to navigate the problems and the transient journey is very easy from one point to another point that is a point of easiness to a point of difficulty what they face. Now they actively look for the answers, learn from their mistakes and of course overcome the difficulties all of which will promote a better physiological and psychological well-being and of course the enjoyment. The next is your goal setting and goal achieving. Control is actually essential to both of these processes. People are more inclined to establish significant and the difficult objectives and they actively work towards achieving them if they feel like they have a control over their life. Setting and attaining objectives gives people a sense of direction, progress and fulfillment which enhances their general happiness and the well-being. Next we have is the emotional regulation. Better emotional regulation is supported by a sense of control over one's life. People are more likely to employ proactive coping mechanisms and successfully handle the stress when they feel in control. They are able to tackle the difficulties with a problem solving mentality and upbeat the outlook which results in increased emotional well-being and of course the happiness level. The next is your a feeling of mastery. Possessing the control over one's life enable people to feel competent and in control of their lives. Individuals get a greater awareness of their talents and capabilities by taking control of their actions and decisions. A good self-image, the self-confidence and a general feeling of well-being and contentment are all influenced by this sense of mastery. Although people might not be able to manage every element of their lives, they can nevertheless develop a sense of control by concentrating on the things they can change. The development of problem solving abilities, the self reflection, the goal setting and the resilience are the techniques that can actually improve one's sense of control. People's happiness, well-being and a general quality of life may actually be improved by actively pursuing and accepting the control over their lives. So we have a positive outlook on the future and the happiness. 
happiness and the general well-being are incredibly correlated and having a hopeful view on the future. It actually entails keeping a positive outlook, concentrating on the possibilities and the chances and nurturing the optimism for the future. So, definitely we can say that happiness and the general well-being are actually they are having a very close relationship one another and they are actually having a very close knit view on the future also. It actually entails and contains uh, you know having a very positive outlook towards the life, not concentrating on the problems but concentrating on the possibilities and the chances which may occur in future and of course you we need to nurture the optimism positivity in this regard. So, having a positive outlook on the future and the happiness is very very important and pertinent. The future optimism has a substantial impact on the emotional fortitude, the drive and the general life happiness. Now, all these things are very very pertinent and important to understand and of course, uh, we have taken a view on the physiological part, the psychological well-being and taken a very close view on how people with a feeling of control over their accept and responsibility for their action overcome the obstacles and forge their routes to a pleasure to fulfillment. Like first we talked about the autonomy and empowerment, the resilience and adaptability is very important having the goal setting and a goal achieving activity is also very pertinent in this regard and you need to regulate and have a regimented view on the emotional regulations also which is if present is able to tackle the difficulties uh, like the problem solving mentality, the upbeat outlook and the results will be increased emotional well-being and of course the happiness and a feeling of mastery over your own self. So, possessing this kind of a you know a mastery over your own feelings, you feel very confident, competent and move towards a successful life which is full of well-being and you know importance of having a self-image, self-confidence and a general feeling of well-being and contentment and all influenced by the sense of emotions. So, we need to understand these aspects very nicely. So, people's happiness, well-being, and general quality of life may be improved by actively pursuing and accepting the control over their lives. Thank you so much.